Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Guild Wars 1 Factions. So we completed a few quests last time, so let's just try and claim the rewards if we can. Uh, right, we've got to see Farmer Zin now for our reward for that one. Okay, belt pouch. Let's go talk to Niang the Tanner. What just happened there? I do not know. Okay, that was a bit odd. I haven't experienced that before, but no worries. We will... Uh, have an audience with Master Togo next, I believe. Head up there, and then we'll probably go back to the other place, the uh, village, Sume, t Sume Village, and we will complete the pest control section, talk to the farmer. I wonder if Togo is going to ask us to secure the warrior skill or not, because we've completed our warrior quests now. Should have picked Frenzy. We've got to get rid of that, actually, and then we'll probably add Frenzy in there. We'll just see what it will give us compared to other ones. Right, Togo, what do you want? Headmaster Zan has told me great things about you. You have begun to learn the way of the warrior, but to reach your full potential, you must choose a second path. We've already done that. I understand from your Headmaster that your studies are progressing well. Right, so we can... We could choose the secondary profession as a warrior, or we could do some more quests. I think that what we'll do for now, though, is we'll go back to Sume Village. And we'll try and level up a little bit without having to pick our, sort of, our profession. In fact, let's get rid of the Cyclone Axe. Right, Frenzy. So, stance for 8 seconds, you attack 33% faster. But we do take double damage. But that could be quite useful in the future, that one. For now, we'll put Read the Wind back in. Because that, that gives us a nice little buff for 24 seconds. Plus 4 damage now. And arrows move twice as fast. So we should be able to do, well, probably twice as much damage, I would assume. Okay, let's go talk to the farmer. Nice sunset over the Panjiang Peninsula. wonder if anything else is going on. I'm sure that was meant to be like some kind of quest going on here where you would attack the Crimson Skull people. And I know we've done the thief quest on the last video, but that's not quite what I'm imagining, I don't think. Right, how are we going to get down here then? Is there a way down there? Oh no, we've got to go round this big sinkhole that's in the ground. Quite a lot of area to explore on this Xinjiang Island, actually. I'm not sure, if we go talk to Master Togo, we may actually skip through it, which probably isn't ideal because we need to be a higher level than this to be able to go into the next sort of city region. Father, Farmer Zinhao. Okay, I'll accept that. Did he give us a, a, yes, a belt pouch. Brilliant. Just gives us a little bit of extra holding space. Each one only holds five items. You can get Rune of Holding, which unlocks another five items for these. And you can get a like a weapon type pouch in there which holds weapons and shields and stuff like that. Right, what else do we have here? Right, so appearance of Naga. We could just explore off a little bit. See if there's anything over this sort of mountain range over here. I'm not sure if there is going to be anything, but we can give it a go nonetheless. Although, to be honest, if we went and spoke to Master Togo... I'll tell you what, let's go to the falls. Let's go into Sunkwa Vale and uh, let's attack the Naga, because it's the last quest we have on our thing. And uh, Is it a primary? No, it's not a primary quest, but we may as well try and complete the, the quests while we have them. We need a better resurrection skill than that. Ah, oh, it gained it. I see, when you get a morale boost... It comes back, so if we'd killed that boss, we would have got our Resurrection Signet back. That's quite useful, I guess. Right, so already there's quite a lot of Nagas around here. Right, whelps. Ah, oh, there's a tiger. I think we can get that as a... a pet, actually. I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to check that. Give it a go. don't think I've ever had a tiger before. I was kind of wondering if I've actually gone to the Menagerie on the Zyshan Island. Does this work? Oh yes, okay. It will attack me. Hopefully they'll kill please don't kill it, please don't kill it, please don't kill it. Run away, run away, run away, run away. Yeah, there we go. 
a level 3 pet tiger. So that, we've got very, very basic controls. I mean, I guess they're quite kind of the same sort of controls as what we've got in Guild Wars. Attack, guard, or just do nothing. We'll have it guard at the moment. In fact, if we have it attack, it will, it might do a bit better in terms of doing a bit more damage. We can, in the future, unlock some of the Beast Mastery skills, which Comfort Animal is one of them, but it will be like it's to get the, the pet to attack for us, so we don't actually use any sort of like real bow skills or anything. The pet will pretty much be our only damage source, which I've never actually done before in a ranger, it's kind of odd. Never given it too much of a go, although I know that there's some people who go around with that and they sort of swear by that as a, a means of attacking stuff. Don't know how well it works in certain areas. Like if you went into a fairly large boss fight, will the pet do any good? I, I'm not too sure about that. But we can give it a go. Let's try and take out some of these Naga. How much are we hitting these days? Just six. We will hit a bit more when we have this breed the wind on, which we do. But also, we probably need to get a better bow. The bow we've got at the moment is just a starter bow, so it doesn't actually do anything at all. Two to five damage, and the six, I guess, is from um, read the wind. Attack that. Gone Tiger, get out there and attack. Later on, when we get into the factions, the main sort of region, we'll be able to go, hopefully, over to Nightfall. Quickly go over there, get a couple of heroes, which are just sort of, their NPCs, attackers like these henchmen, except you're completely able to um, edit the skills, armor and everything that they wear so you can make them much much better and you can also like you've got with this pet thing here where you tab it out you can tab out each of their attack skills and you can attack with them you can use them to attack if you if you want so you've got a lot more scope for sort of ability I guess we don't want to get ourselves stuck in the middle of something here because this I, I know this is quite a tough place. It doesn't seem like it because they're only like level twos, but when they surround you, it's good nights, I'm afraid. Plus, there's oh he's level six over there anyway. Ah, oh, it's obstructed. Gotta go on to this. Why are we not killing this rich list? Right, he's gone. Let's take out the Nargle Wizard. Oh, pets died. We're going to die soon if we don't get out of here quick. Let's put on Troll Unduent again. Mustn't forget to smack number four whenever I get into a dodgy situation. That way I can block half the attacks hopefully that are coming. Oh, the healer went down. Didn't realise that. Thank God that we got her back up again. Number five. Can't let's turn and take this out in one hit. Oh, yes. I know it was not quite one hit, it was probably about 20 hits overall, but it's okay. Right, so we've done that. So here's the nice waterfalls that the lady told us to go visit, and apparently the water from here um, is provided for most of Cantha. Keeps Cantha drinking, should we say. Right, so see Captain Zingu for our reward in Xinjie Monastery, and that's the last quest we had. So I think we'll go collect that reward. We'll go up and see Ma Master Togo, see what he has to say. Will be level six actually. So you go up levels really, really quick. There's no way you'd go up this quick in uh, prophecies. Let's add to expertise again. Let's try and make it everything a bit cheaper to cast. Let's 
something about Guild Wars, which I think has pulled a lot of people back to this game, is that you've got the Hall of Monuments, which if you build up your Hall of Monuments and you get like 30 to 50 points, you get loads of rewards in Guild Wars 2 that you can unlock. Um, you get points by doing various things, like completing stuff and um, getting little miniature miniatures of everything. You should be familiar with them if you play Guild Wars 2. Nice choose. Right, now that you've completed training in some of the other professions and learned more about them, it's time to make a choice. Think carefully now. Once you decide, you will not be able to change your mind. You can later on, but for now we won't be able to change your mind. Okay, we're going with the warrior. So we get all of these that we already had anyway. A fitting choice, young one. Congratulations. You now have the choice of returning to your headmaster to learn your insignia for your primary profession, or you can take a further quest from me. Although it is your choice, I recommend that you speak with your headmaster first and return to me once you have earned your insignia. Okay, so we've got ton we nearly went up a whole level with that. Alright, let's not talk to him yet. Let's go down and get this insignia. Can't quite remember what this is. But we will find out. Got my nice guild cape with the elephant on the back of it. Slightly peculiar, but it's got a quirkiness to it. Right, so our headmaster is here. Is it the hunter? Yep. Headmaster Greco. Okay. You are ready to earn your ranger insignia? Alright then. This advanced training is designed to teach you the nuances of the ranger ranger's art, controlling nature, using advanced bow attacks and hindering your enemies with conditions. Rangers commune with nature, summoning spirits to alter the environment for both friend and foe. They can also lay deadly traps and of course damage enemies with many powerful ranged attacks. Speak with Instructor NG to begin your training. Okay, so it looks like we've got to go through here. Advanced defense techniques. Okay. Defensive for one second, you have certain fast and chance to block. We've already got a blocking attack. Throw dirt. Touch skill inflicts blindness condition. Also affects foes adjacent to the target for eight seconds. They're blind. What else do we have? Let's right, go into skill charming. I encourage you to take the skill chaining course. Okay. Balance stance. Kindle arrows. Okay, this will be good. Um, plus four fire damage. We've got plus four damage and then plus four fire damage. We've got traps. Let's get rid of this. Bow attack, you shoot two arrows simultaneously at the target foe. These arrows deal 25% less damage. But we'll equip that later. We're getting quite a few different skills here, which is good. I see, okay. Alright, let's go to the dojo and accept and do that training. I didn't realise, I thought we were just taking a few, like, a variety of quests. Right, Sujin. Skill training, okay. Please concentrate on your studies. Skill training, ready, begin. Oh god, here we go. Right. Two, three... If I die in here, it's bad, isn't it? Very bad. He's level 10, isn't he? Kindle arrows. Power shot. If we just make sure we keep the healing spell up all the time. God, this guy is really difficult to kill. Let's attack this one instead. We'll keep the. I want the pet really to attack this one. Come on, let's, let's try and kill this guy. We don't have enough, like, energy to do this. He can just heal himself up and it's like no problem at all. This is kind of a failed task at the moment, we're never going to be able to do this until we level up a little bit more. We may have to just leave. That's a shame. 
we'll have to probably level up a little bit more before we can actually manage that. It's not too much of a problem though. At least we didn't die. That's one bonus. Right. We ha we should have a more few more skills unlocked though, surely. Right. Kindle arrows. Let's get this down here. This flame trap. Whirling defense. Um, dual shot. We don't. We don't want. Yeah. Trouble with this. Everything costs so much. Right. Wilderness survival. There's no point in taking that off, is there? Let's head out and see, let's go through Sumo Village and a few of them areas around there and see if there's anything good for us to actually achieve. So these are Wilderness Survival, that's Marksmanship. And we don't really have Wilderness Survival up, so I probably would have been better getting rid of one of Expertise, putting Wilderness Survival up a couple of times, and that would have done a bit more damage with these ones. But at the moment, let's just put expertise back up to where it was. And let's head through here. That's a mistake. We don't actually have any healer or anything with us. Haven't got any Beastmaster skills except for the one where my pet gets healed. Right, we're going to head to the right and hopefully we'll unlock a couple of uh, villages as well along the way. Some extra points that we can go to and utilise. What I might do guys is call this the end of the video. Next video we'll just be continuing on from this point and trying to find some extra stuff to be doing. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.